And finally, new rule. Someone has to tell me how the world can be so blind while well, conservatives here remain apoplectic about Mexicans crossing the Rio Grande and Europe freaks out about Syrian refugees flooding in from the Middle East. No one is paying attention to the ethnic group that's taking over this country while we blithely do nothing. Fucking Australians! <laughs> Is anybody here in the audience tonight from here in L.A.? Okay. <laughs> then it can't just be me who has noticed that every single bartender in this town <laughs> is suddenly some six-foot-four Australian dude with a great personality who's generous with the free drinks, and we're just letting it happen. Wake up, people. You cannot swing a dead wallaby these days without hitting an Australian. And it's not just the bartenders. Australians now make up 30% of America's surfing instructors. <laughs> and an alarming 65% of our ski bums. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Australia is not sending us its best people. <laughs> They're bringing drugs. Yes, enough for everybody, but still. <laughs> They're rapists. Okay, not rapists, but they do a lot of fucking. <laughs> and I assume some are good people. <laughs> now, how do Australians get here? No one really knows. <laughs> some say the jet stream carries them over, but we do know this. You meet one and have a few beers. Next thing you know, he's sleeping on your couch, borrowing your car, and fucking your girlfriend. <laughs> and somehow you're okay with it. It's like getting a golden retriever if golden retrievers fucked your girlfriend. <laughs> Did you know that in the whole history of the world, there are only four inventions Australians claim? The disposable syringe, the long-wearing contact lens, aspirin, and penicillin, all created so they could party longer. <laughs> We used to think oceans could protect us because oceans were full of sharks and sharks eat a lot of Australians. <laughs> <laughs> but now sharks are endangered. There just aren't enough of them anymore. And there are too many Hemsworths. Does anyone remember when American movies were cast with American actors? That seems like a long time ago. Yeah. Have we become so weak and effete that no defense is mounted against an Aussie horde that flawlessly mimics our American accent and then takes jobs that rightfully belong to Billy Bob Thornton? <laughs> Does America really need Simon Baker when Patrick Dempsey is sitting by the phone? <laughs> now, I partly blame myself. First, the Australians came for parts in our cop movies, but I wasn't an actor, so I didn't speak out. <laughs> <laughs> then they came for our action movie blockbusters, but I wasn't a soulless studio chief, so I didn't speak out. Then they came for the Tony Awards. But I'm not gay, so I didn't speak out. <laughs> but I'm speaking now. And, and though you cannot build a wall on the ocean, you can build a reef. And I will build the greatest reef the world has ever seen. <laughs> a great barrier reef, if you will. And I will make Mel Gibson pay for it. <laughs> Will it work? No. Do I care? No. Because I don't really hate Australians, but I'm an American, and it's in our tradition to hate someone and blame them for all our problems. In the mid-19th century, it was my people, the Irish everyone hated. Then it was the Chinese, the Italians, the Mexicans, the Jews, the Swedes, the Japanese, the Russians, and now the Mexicans again. <laughs> If Donald Trump really wanted to make America great again, he wouldn't build a wall, he'd build a mirror. <laughs> <laughs> the 
then maybe we would see that no one can actually take a job. Someone has to give it to them. We could end our illegals problem tomorrow if we decided to stop hiring them. But no, we talk of walls to protect us from people so dangerous that we can't stop ourselves from paying them to raise our children. <laughs> I, <laughs> As Sarah Palin says, You want to be in America when you're here? Let's speak American. <laughs> Which begs the question, why are the people who demand that everyone speak English always the ones who can't speak English? <laughs>